Have you ever dreamed of becoming an astronaut? For most of us, it feels like an unattainable dream reserved for a select few. But for Helen Sherman, the dream became a reality, and it all started with a simple radio advertisement. Picture this: Helen Sherman was just another chemist working in a lab for Mars Convectionery Ltd. Where she analyzed the chemistry of chocolates and sweets. Little did she know that her life was about to take a monumental turn. It was 1989, and Helen was tuning into the radio when she heard an advertisement that seemed too good to be true. Astronauts wanted, no experience necessary. It was a call for Project Juno. An audacious British Soviet space venture that aimed to send the first Briton into space. At the time, the Cold War had just ended, and there was a desire to bridge gaps between the East and the West. The mission's goal was to foster goodwill and collaboration between Britain and the Soviet Union by sending a British citizen into space. But Helen wasn't the only captivated by this opportunity. Over thirteen thousand applicants submitted their bids for a ticket to the stars. Yet, out of thousands, it was Helen Sherman who stood out. She passed an array of intense psychological and medical evaluations and undertook a grueling 18-month training program at the Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center in Star City, Russia. The project Juno faced significant challenges. Funding was scarce, and at times it seemed the mission might not even launch. Still, with Soviet financial support, the mission pressed on. Albeit with limited British scientific experiments due to budget constraints. Finally, on May eighteenth, nineteen ninety one, Helen Sherman soared into space aboard Soyuz TM twelve, alongside Soviet cosmonauts Anatoly Archibarsky and Sergei Krikalev. She became the first British citizen and the first woman to visit the Mir space station. For nearly eight days, Helen conducted crucial medical and agricultural experiments. She even had the chance to speak with British school children via radio, inspiring countless young minds. But Helen's journey wasn't without its challenges. The mission tested her endurance, both physically and mentally, as she adapted to the rigors of space. Nonetheless, she returned to Earth on May twenty sixth, nineteen ninety one, having forged a path few and traveled before. Despite her monumental achievements, Helen Sherman's legacy is often overshadowed by others. Years later, when Major Team Peak embarked on his space mission, many mistakenly referred to him as Britain's first astronaut. Yet, it was Helen who blazed the trail, paving the way of future explorers. After her historic journey, Helen continued to pursue various ventures and was even shortlisted for the European Space Agency's astronaut selection. She penned her autobiography, "Seize the Moment," sharing her extraordinary experiences with the world. Today, Helen Sherman remains a symbol of inspiration, proving that with courage, determination, and a dash of serendipity, reaching for the stars is within anyone's grasp. So, the next time you hear a call to adventure, whether it be on the radio or elsewhere. Remember, Helen Sharman and dare to seize the moment.